Greetings folks. Today we're going to take a look at the digital write function and the associated access, direct access, using the port registers. So first we'll start off with the documentation for digital write. All right, so basically it uh, writes a high or a low value to a digital pen. So what's a high, what's a low? Um, well, it depends on the kind of logic that you have. If you have TTL standard logic in your processor, as the UNO does, uh, that would be a 5 volt value for high. Um, some processors use a lower voltage, 3.3 volts, so you'd get 3.3 for the high. Universally low is going to be ground or zero volts. Before you use digital write, this, this particular uh, connection pin should be set up for the output mode, either using the pin mode function or the direct access uh, using the DDR, the uh, data direction register. Okay, so we can see the usage of this is fairly straightforward. It's just digital write, the Arduino pin number, and then whether you want it to be high or low. All right, so here's a very quick example in the setup, and we do pin mode, set this particular pin, pin 13, to output mode, then you just do a digital write, pin 13, high, low, and so on and so forth. All right, fairly straightforward. The first question is, how much current can you get out of this, uh, out of this controller? Um, on an Uno, you have about 40 milliamps per connection pin, but that can exceed 200 milliamps for the total IC. So it's not like you're going to have 10 pins each pumping out 40 milliamps. So unless you're only using a few pins or, you know, very little current for each pin, you're probably going to need some kind of driver circuit. So here's a couple of example drivers. These are um, fairly straightforward uh, bipolar junction transistor. They're just showing these with um, LEDs for loads. Um, but, you know, this could be something else. This could be a higher voltage with a little motor in here, fan, something like that. But anyway, we have an active high NPN. So if I have a high voltage on this uh, VBB terminal, this would produce a base current, which would then produce a collector current, saturation for the transistor, um, and the RC here would limit the current. Similar situation over here with the PNP, except we would require a low voltage to pull current out of the base, and the same thing. Transistor goes into saturation, and we light the LED. So don't necessarily think high means on, right? When we talk about back here, high or low, high doesn't necessarily mean on, and low doesn't necessarily mean off. It depends on how you've configured the hardware. If you have an active high, then yeah, high means on. If it's active low, low means on. Okay? All right, so what's actually in the code? So here's the digital write function. This is a somewhat simplified version of the actual code, just cleaned up a little bit. Um, and what we're going to see here is there's um, uh, a lot of code. Most of the code really is translation code, the similar thing we saw in the uh, pin mode code, which is we have to take this Arduino pin number and turn it into the appropriate port, you know, port B, port C, port D, and the appropriate bit for that, you know, bit 0, 1, 2, and so forth. So... That's what we see out here. Um, we take the pin, and there's a little function to tell us which timer it's on, which we'll get to in a sec. Um, we then pull out a bit mask for that particular pin. Right? Remember, a bit mask is the sequence of zeros and a one to indicate or correspond to whatever that particular bit on the port happens to be. And then we have um, this digital pin to port, which gives us a value over here to indicate which port, port B, port C, port D. All right, so a little error check if, um, if we put in a possible number. You know, if we say uh, pin 37, there is no pin 37. So burp, we get an error. We just return immediately. Nothing we can do. Um, if the timer comes back, in other words, if this thing is actually on a timer, there are in, internal timers, and these can be used to create pulse width modulation. We want to be able to turn that off. So... If this thing is on a timer, then um, we need to turn off that particular timer, disconnect it, basically. So there is this separate function that turns off the timer that basically disables it. 
and then finally we get the port right so out as you can see as a is a pointer so this this literally maps out to something like port b port c port d then we have this little uh, code up front remember this is the status register very important register so we save the status register we clear the interrupt bit remember an interrupt is this high priority um, bit of code that's going to run so to prevent that from happening we clear the interrupt bit we do the important stuff which i'll get to in just a sec and then we reset the status register to its old value all right so this is like little little firewall kind of stuff bulletproofing code out here this two lines right here this is really where the action is so if val which is the thing that we're setting it for right high or low if that's the same as low then what we're doing over here is remember this maps to you know port b port c um, it's a pointer so it's a value the value at that port gets added with a complement of the bit mask in other words this clears that particular bit all right so that's what, it, that's what we want to do. Set, set that bit low so the output literally goes low. Otherwise, it must have been high, right? The value must have been high. So we simply OR it with the bit pattern. In other words, set that bit. So if you set the bit, the output goes high. And that's really all there is to the code. As I said, most of this has to do with, you know, translating from a Arduino pin number out to, to the port in the bit. So if you already know what the port and the bit are, um, you could just do it directly. So here are some direct access examples that we have. Now, there are times when you do not want to use digital write. You need to write several bits at once, and this can be a problem. Um, some examples would be driving a seven-segment display, uh, pumping values into a... Um, a parallel digital analog converter chip you don't want to have to do that with let's say eight calls in a sequence you know, so that you can get all eight values out you would just rather blast all those bits out at once so essentially what we do is we just directly fiddle in this case i'm using port bit uh, port b but we just directly fiddle with this we just you know if i want to clear some bits so here's an example of clearing bits zero one and four that's a binary pattern of zero 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 one 0011 hex 13. so if i want to uh, clear those bits we simply take port b and we and it with the complement of that bit pattern if i want to set them then we simply or it with that bit pattern notice this does not change any of the other bits it only manipulates those three bits so you just come up with the bit pattern turn it into a hex value and either and the complement to clear it or you or it with that bit pattern to set it now, if you want to set all of them, for example, if you had a seven segment display and you wanted to uh, light all of the segments and uh, the, the decimal point, right? So that's eight inputs and you were using an active high system, you want eight ones, okay? Hex FF. You could just say port B gets FF, done. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Um, here's something a little bit more complicated where I want to monkey with um, four bits, the bottom four bits. I'm going to set them to this pattern, 0101, which is hex 5. I want to leave the top four bits untouched. So what we do is we take port B, we end it with this little sort of protection mask. This winds up clearing the bottom four bits, leaving the top four bits. And then we OR it with this bit pattern here, which is the bottom four bits that I want. All right, so that's that's a little bit more complicated, but you can just, like I said, directly blast a value into port B. All right, so that works very well for those kinds of applications. If you just need to fiddle one bit, well, you know, if you want to be safe, sure, we can call digital write, um, or just you know, clear or set a value like this. Just one, you just have one bit out here. Okay, very good.